What's going on, fellas? I'm in the car. It's 11, no, nope, it is 10.40 p.m. And I'm headed to go meet my buddy Corey at the boat ramp. We're doing our first 2021 nighttime session. And it's the first time I'm gonna fish in about a month. So I'm looking forward to going out, throwing some jigs around, and hopefully getting on a few poon daddies and maybe some grouper. Hopefully we can get on some fish on some of the bridges in the area. Actually, I might have a swim bait already rigged up. You let me know when you want me to do something, I will do it. What what bait did you were you throwing? <laughs> Hold on. Which, okay. Looks like this might be the weight. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm retying and Corey throws one cast with his snapper rod, hit some rock piles. We're like, all right, bite slow, slack tied. Let's kind of tr try to catch a snapper. Nope. Not a snapper. Not a snapper. Should have known throwing a snapper bait would hook a tarpon. That's how that works. There he be. You gonna gulp. <laughs> Eat your face. There's the bubble. <laughs> Release the bubble. Get me. Gotta get angry. He touched the boat, got scared, and took off. That'll use up a bunch of energy. I think. I think. He's kind of a chod. We were, we were a little kinder than this. Yep. So big. It's huge. All right, here you go. There you go. There we go, Daddy. <laughs> All right, you are sweating, my man. Dude, that was stupid. You are sweating. Stupid. like nine inches times two maybe maybe like 18 inches across in the middle I think 20 inches across maybe the tallest one ever. it's not actually that long four and a half maybe five feet long which is really long but the thing is thick and he's kind of got some like Jack Craval colors right here actually this is definitely not a beach fish it's just too tall. <laughs> no wonder we were getting jacked. Yeah. Able to get on his side and fight like a jack really, really easily. All right. There he goes. We just uh, had the boat in gear for a couple minutes there to revive him, get the water going over his gills really nice and strong. That way he gets a solid swim off. Never want to catch a fish, unhook it, and then let it go right away. It's a recipe to have them get eaten and then also die of a lot of lactic acid and stuff that'll build up. Good job, dude. You need a sandwich and a break, and maybe even a nap. Yeah, that, that, was, that was it for that. <laughs> no, no more, more, no more was... snapper fishing for you? Nope. <laughs> See, that thing was so cool. All right, I'm throwing the big stuff. Corey just roasted himself. He took me to the snapper spot today. Literally first cast, I'm tying on a jig, and all of a sudden I just hear his bait caster ripping line out. I don't know, 150 pound tarpon jumps out of the water a few seconds later. So I'm gonna throw my 8,000, just in case. Actually, there's a 5,000, but tie it with 5,000. 
Aww. Mangrove Jack. Mangrove Jack. Shoot. I did say if I catch a fish tonight, I'll be happy. Because I haven't been able to go fishing in so long. And this is a fish. Technically. Stop, 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 stop. He's a little bit smaller. I'm setting them down. That's pretty, I mean, that's the right size for our grouper. Dude, that's what fishing's all about right there. This would be a really good bass, though. Look at that little fisher out there. Just pulled her in on the minner. Gets the job done every time. Hold on now. Hold on now. Just work the old hook out. Come on. There we go. See you, honey. You. In between the tide, Corey and I, oh, there's another one. Just throwing little, we sized down a whole bunch to throw little baits, and now we're catching these little snook. Definitely not a 150 pound tarpon, but still pretty fun. On the right tackle. <laughs> Come hither, son. That's how you do it right there. That's how you do it. This thing's decent. Okay. Decent. This thing's kind of yes. decent. I thought it was a little snook at first. This is kind of decent. That's a keeper. My dad watching this video. I'm sorry. We're not keeping it. It's probably definitely a keeper, but I'm definitely going to throw a jig now. I'm not going to be screwing around with a little snapper bait. After seeing that, what a beaut. First grouper of the night that isn't eight inches long. I get a beautiful little look at this handsome man. He's a lot better than I thought. Mm -hmm. He looked small in the water for some reason. How did he not fight at the beginning? It's a terrible fight. <laughs> <laughs> he was in the shallow. Just he should have just a whole fight. He should have My butthole. <laughs> yeah, he's good. He's better than decent. I'm going 26 and three quarters. Yeah, still talking about that. Yep, I'm sorry. I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's huge. What is happening? How, how is he like almost 30 inches? Mm -hmm. 28, 29 almost? Is he 29? Yeah. Is that 27? 27, 28, 29. 27, 29. What is this? What is this? Jeez. Go make some more bait. Wow, look how dark he got. That fish was tan earlier. Now he's brown for all you instant turds out there. This is for Julian. This is how you make your fish look like it's 50 inches big. One, two, three, 50 incher. And that is a 40 pound grouper you just caught. About. He's going to splash us. Now our night's complete. <laughs> he didn't even splash us. What a nice guy. What a nice guy.